Breaking news has just hit and I've got all the details for you. While Prince Harry wants to reunite with family, there's concern over King Charles's health and... Kate Middleton's recovery is slow and Sarah Ferguson's cancer remains a global worry. Now let's talk about Prince Edward, King Charles III's favorite brother, who's in the spotlight. Edward is crucial to the monarchy, both for his dedication and expertise, as he's filling in for five inactive royals with no official duties. Edward defended Prince Harry when he and Meghan were evicted from Frogmore years ago. Recently, Edward has been the only one to publicly support Prince Harry, praising his visit to King Charles III after learning of his cancer diagnosis. Recall Harry's whirlwind 12-hour flight, where he spent a precious 45 minutes with his father, as the prince himself described. Recently, media reported Prince Edward leaving a major royal event in London supporting a charity. Edward took the opportunity to speak with reporters, stating that the royal family's charitable work must continue no matter what, as it's the driving force behind the monarchy. When asked if he was happy about Prince Harry's possible return, Edward nodded affirmatively without hesitation. Overcome with emotion, he shed tears of joy at reuniting with his nephew, while his brother King Charles battles a terrible cancer. This situation is delicate, moving and impactful. Prince Edward breaks protocol to express support for Prince Harry's visit, unable to control his emotions, shedding tears before the cameras. With reddened eyes, he showed his love for the prince remained strong, still his favorite nephew, awaiting him with open arms in England. He also shared concern for his brother, but expressed hope as he faces cancer head-on, and they're confident, as are we, that he'll overcome it. Tell me below what you think about Prince Edward's last-minute move, welcoming Prince Harry in advance. He also confirmed King Charles III's health is delicate, but remained optimistic. Don't forget to like this video, hit the red subscribe button and turn on notifications if you haven't already, so you don't miss any updates on your favorite royal news channel. Now let's discuss another interesting story. On a recent emotional visit to Balmoral, Princess Catherine shed tears remembering Queen Elizabeth II. Balmoral, the Queen's favorite retreat, symbolizes cherished memories and deep family bonds. This unexpected trip, called by King Charles, stirred nostalgia and gratitude in Catherine. Stepping onto the historic grounds, Catherine was flooded with memories of her early royal days. Balmoral Castle in Scotland, the Queen's summer retreat, was her favorite home before her passing in 2022. The Queen's subtle yet powerful presence made Balmoral a private sanctuary for family gatherings. Stay tuned for updates. 
Discover fascinating, authentic content on our Secretos del Rey channel. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on all the latest news. Now, let's discuss another equally intriguing story. In a memorable moment that captivated global audiences, Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, broke royal protocol with an emotional display at the Paris 2024 Olympics. The event occurred during one of the game's most anticipated moments, when a British athlete secured a coveted gold medal for the United Kingdom on August 5th at the State Olympique Yves du Manoir Colombe. Prince Edward's wife celebrated in the stands after the British track cycling team won gold in the women's team sprint, simultaneously setting a world record of 45.1186 seconds. In a video shared on X by the official royal family account, Sophie, at 59, she raised her arms, cheered, and hugged the man beside her as the moment unfolded. Known for her elegance and royal etiquette, Sophia surprised many by spontaneously embracing the man next to her. This man, likely a friend or British Olympic team member, shared the Duchess's excitement. The moment, caught on camera, quickly went viral, spreading across social media and news outlets. A royal breaking protocol to share collective joy was a refreshing change from the expected stoic demeanor. The hug was a much friendlier exchange than the usual greetings and bows associated with British royalty. There are no mandatory codes of conduct when interacting with royals. Royal protocol typically calls for a reserved public demeanor, especially at international events like the Olympics, where royals represent their nation. The public's reaction to this unexpected display of affection was overwhelmingly positive. Many admired the Duchess for her genuine response, seeing it as a moment of shared humanity rather than a breach of protocol. The Duchess of Edinburgh also wore a 1,200 pounds dress at the Olympics, marking Sophia's latest fashion success. The Duchess made headlines again for her style when she watched Britain's cycling team set a world record in Paris the night before. Dressed in a purple floral midi dress by British designer Emura Eliaglu for the occasion, Sophia, Duchess of Edinburgh, has long been respected for her dedication to royal duties and charity work, balancing these responsibilities with her roles as mother and wife. This Paris Olympics moment added a new dimension to her public image, showcasing her ability to connect deeply with others. While royal protocol doesn't mandate specific etiquette, many choose to observe traditional customs. For men, this means a neck bow, while women perform a small curtsy. Others simply prefer to shake hands as usual. It bridged the gap between royalty and everyday fans, bringing warmth and connection to the event. Sophia's brief protocol breach may have been short, but it left a lasting impression, capturing the Olympic spirit and essence of being part of a global community united by sport. It also showed the evolving royal public interactions where authenticity and relatability now complement tradition and duty. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and discuss this exciting news in the comments.